and there we see the spotlight on the world champion, Sonny Liston, in his entourage, leading him down from dressing room to ring, a long walk down. Sonny with that hooded robe, the terry cloth white robe, uh, is being led by his advisor, Jack Nylon, Willie Reddish, Teddy King, and uh, some of the others in the group. Let's see what kind of hand he gets as he gets near the ring. Now he's near that, well, let's call it the golden circle. The golden circle, ladies and gentlemen, is the one in front of, he's walking directly behind it now, in front of the $50, $100, and then the auxiliary press, then the $150 section, and finally, Sonny keeps going toward that, what is the $200 per copy, seat per copy section. Now he's heading into the golden circle. Of course, uh, leading away, some of his very, very close friends, uh, coming in there, Sonny gives you that, uh, well, that great look, and there he comes up the ring stairs, Teddy King, first man through, the heavyweight champion with ropes being spread apart, bounces in, calm, cool, collected, and at the present time, both fighters are in, over in the opposite corner of Sonny. Listen, uh, we see at this point the challenger, the challenger catches Marcellus Clay, 22 years of age, unbeaten. 19 straight going for all the marbles in the boxing business. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Miami Beach, Florida, Miami Beach Convention Hall. While we're here, may I introduce you to a couple of boxers you've seen in the past, we'll probably see again in the future. The contender and former welterweight champion of the world, Louis Manuel Rodriguez. And from North Miami Beach, right here in Florida, the light heavyweight champion of the world, the dancing master, Willie Pastrano. Willie P. Willie Pastrano, who boxes an awful lot like Cassius Clay. And here's a heavyweight on the comeback trail. Five KOs in a row, gunning for a title shot, the popular Californian, Eddie Machen. Major. Eddie punching better than ever, doing exceptionally well. And real close to ringside, ladies and gentlemen, a man who has been acclaimed as the greatest fighter, pound for pound, three-time middleweight champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. You know what the spectacle is, you've seen it before, Ray with a, a, a great uh, tuxedo sort of suit on, looks great. Looks perhaps younger than he's looked in a long time. Congratulated and wished play lots of luck. Did the same with Sonny. Says hello to the referee and now to the announcer. And doing, doing the commentary over television for theater, network, television. Probably one of the most beloved boxers of all time defended his title 25 times in his nine years as heavyweight champion, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Lewis. My colleague tonight, my broadcast partner, got a great hand, and why not, an all-time great. And on the other side of the ring, doing his bit for ABC Radio, the undefeated Retired heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Marciano. Rocky, very popular in the Southland, popular all over the country. Unbeaten, untied. Back to the ring announcer. This bout is under the auspices of veterans of foreign wars, post number 3559. Under the promotion of Dundee McDonald Enterprises and the supervision of the Miami Beach Boxing Commission, consisting of Carl Gardner, Vice Chairman, Al Sherman, Dan Raw, Eddie Lassman, and Chairman Morris Klein. The officials assigned the doctor, the chief medical examiner, Dr. Alexander Robbins. The timekeeper is Gus Reno counting for the knockdowns, Scotty Lang. Judging, Gus Jacobson. Bunny Lovett, 
and the referee, Barney Felix. This bout, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. The challenger from Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks with red stripes, weighing 210 and one half pounds, the former Olympic light heavyweight champion, Cassius Clay. Clay. And his opponent from Denver, Colorado, weighing 218 pounds, wearing the black trunks with the white trim, the heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Sonny Liston. Liston. 15 rounds, two more bouts will follow. I want a clean bout, man. In the event of a knockdown, a man out is down, must take an eight count. Man standing up will go to a neutral corner while I start counting. And do not resume boxing until I tell you to do so. Now, I want a clean bout. When they order you to break, stop punching and step back. Good luck. Shake hands. All set now. World heavyweight boxing title on the line. 31-year-old Sonny Liston, 22-year-old Cassius Clay. Sonny the champion, Cassius the challenger. Sonny 218, Cash is 210 and a half, a seven and a half pound weight pool. Referee, the capable Barney Felix, brought to you by Theater Network Television. Cash is play on the move as we see, looking to get Sonny to lunge, carrying his left hand dangerously low. Note that the champion, Liston, the aggressive man, Ooh. a good heavy shot dug under the heart. Sonny has to set the pace. That's the way it looks at the outset. Cassius, awkwardly fast. Good long left lead that might keep the champion a bit off balance. Slippery. Play still in the danger zone in that he's keeping his hands low, but you'll notice one thing if you don't mind. He's at long range with the hands low. We're halfway through round one. Close range, if we look closely, although Barney Felix does want them apart at this point because the hands were tied, Sonny will be the guy that'll keep falling away. One minute more in the first round. Sonny seems to be trying to slip those left leads. Can't do it too successfully because the challenger is jabbing all over. Body and a right hand. The best punch in the fight so far. closing second of this first round and the long left lead is making the difference so far by Mr. Clay.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking in with our overhead camera into the corner of Cassius Clay, who is still doing the talking. He's still, he's breathing a bit hard. Barney Felix, the referee, did not stop that round when that bell sounded. Perhaps the referee didn't hear it. Champion Joe Lewis. Going, look at the guy yawning. Tell us what you think at the end of one. Well, Steve, I think this was the greatest round of any, of any fight we've seen in a long time because I think Clay uh, completely outclassed on this in this round. Completely outclassed, Joe, with his speed, his awkward style, his boxing, his natural ability. What did it, in your opinion? Well, uh, I hope that Clay don't get too much confidence in the dude that he's going to get knocked out. Joe referred to overconfidence. This can happen. not headhunting at this point. He's content to rip toward the body, trying to bring the guard down and then go upstairs. You know, when the body goes, the head follows. Watch out. But this youngster has his own style and it's confusing for the champion to fathom this early in the fight, at least up to now. Halfway through the second round. Watch closely. The champion is clubbing away, and then, of course, the challenger has to move him away. Less than one minute more in the second round. With 30 seconds to go in the second round, Liston wants to pump that jab to set up his other punches. He wants to use it as a left lead, a lead to other shots if he can get this kid to stand still and then rip the body. Ten seconds more in the second round. The crowd's gonna roar in a few more seconds, that's for sure. Joe, Joe Lewis, tell us now what they might be telling Sonny. How will he have to fight in round three? Well, I, I'm sure that, that uh, Willie Red is telling Sonny to forget about uh, catching his head because, you know, he, he pulled back too much and, and he's much too fast for that. But I think some can work on the body for a while. The old saying, no, kill the body, the head of the die. Now, tell me this, in your opinion, and you're very close to Sonny, uh, and you're close to both guys, uh, is Sonny relaxed? Is he tense? What do you think, Joe? Well, I think Sonny uh, right now looks like that. This last round, I think, it made him a little bit more t t t tense because uh, the first round, I think, he this play really uh, showed a lot, of, a lot of moving, a lot of what he could do, you know? All right. We're getting set. Thank you, Joe. We're getting set now for round number three. Listen and play. Another jarring right hand that time, folks. Another one. Sonny Robo. Sonny Robo. Cassius has him hurt. Sonny is, no, no, is, is talking to...
Sonny has a big mouth below his left eye. He has a cut below the eye, and he's getting hit with all the punches in the book. Five seconds to go in the fourth round. Sonny has some puffiness below his right eye now.
Less than a minute to go in this fourth frame. Fourth round. Ooh. The Liston hook. Started out as a jab, turned it short to a good hook. Well, he's talking a lot now. I don't know who he looks like. He's arguing with his, with his, with his trainers, uh, uh, you know. But I don't know. Uh, Clay, I think he's getting more company as the fight go along. So getting as, more as, confidence? I think so. As long as the fight goes, more company he would be. That's Angelo Dundee that he was arguing with, Joe. Angelo now is telling him off a little bit while he gets him ready. Is the fellow surprising you? Is, is Sonny surprising I, I think you? That, I think that uh, Clay is surprising the whole world uh, of, of going along with, with Sonny. And now that he's... It's showing such to be in a good fight. Thank you, champ. Getting ready for something number five. Something wrong with Clay now. Uh, something wrong with Clay. Something wrong with Clay. I see that, Joe's eyes. His eyes are bothering him. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know exactly what happened. They're yelling from Cassius Clay's corner. Something got in his right eye. Uh, however, he's blinking badly. Sonny's got to try to pull it on. remaining in the fifth. Only 10 seconds remaining as Sonny's still moving in. Cash is still bouncing punches away, blocking them.
In round six, we note that Sonny flat-footed stands most of the time. Easy target. Easy. with a variety of punches. We call them combinations. Putting punches together. That's his strong point. We're in the middle of round number six. Cassius Clay still with the faster hands and the better legs, or at least the faster legs. I'll correct myself on that one. Sonny does have sturdy legs. With slightly less than a minute more in the sixth round, the champion has slowed down a bit. The tempo has slowed in the fight. Only 30 seconds to go in the sixth round. Sonny can't seem to slip or knock down that jab effectively. Cassius, Cassius throws it from all angles. Very tricky left lead, left jab. Seconds remaining in the sixth. Joe Lewis, Joe, looking in toward the champion's corner. He's still standing up. They're going to make him sit down. What do you think is going on in Sonny's mind at this point? Well, I think Sonny now is beginning to worry now. At least his corner is beginning to worry now because I, I think that they feel now that, that Clay have all the comfort that he needs and go home to beat the beat uh, Sonny. So I think that the corner now is beginning to worry a little bit now. Now they're working, as we note, with our camera shots in there below the left eye. They've already worked below the right eye. There you see them. Joe Polino trying to keep that cut closed. Uh, do you feel as though Sonny being busted up a little bit, puffed up a little bit around the face, will this make a difference in Liston's thinking? Well, it has to make a, little, uh, a difference because Liston, uh, I think he, he don't see too well out both his eyes now because they're pretty well puffed out. And I think Clay got all the comfort he needs now. So I think that he, he can't him go on winning now. They might be stopping it. That might be all, ladies and gentlemen. Get up there, Joe. Get up there. Get up in the ring. 